Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, hey, man. You know how, man, sometimes you just blessed, man. And the jewel done dropped, hey, dropped in our lap, man. Hey, man, this guy right here don't need no introduction, really, man. You know, see, if you watch TV, nigga, if you've been watching, man, this guy worked, man. If you watch this Christmas, <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? If you watching Stump the you, Yard Stump the Yard, man This guy, All man All my favorites Say, man, Columbus Trotter's in the building on Boss Talk 101 Where the bosses talk mm -hmm. Bosses Man, so how you doing, man? Man, I'm blessed, man Man, I'm so happy that you came, man I hit you and I, you Instantaneously, man It ain't nothing but God got you in that seat, bro Hey, a real didn't, we didn't even know you were in Dallas, and it just it just. I came in on the sneak on the sneak attack on the sneak attack. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> man! You know, you know, when I think back and think of you, the first time I ever seen you, you didn't see me, you didn't know me. Uh, <laughs> it was All Star Weekend. We saw you. We exactly. saw you. Me and my oh, wife. Yes. Yeah, you so were. Yeah, yeah, they were, yes. yeah, and they yeah. went yeah. in. We were you were cutting up that night. It was. They was trying to they give him problems. Give you problems. Oh, you was heated, bro. I said I can't even get talk to my guy. Yeah, man, hair, bro. Yeah. bro, that was yeah. years ago. How many years ago was that? That was years man, that ago. Was Dallas, that was Dallas. It was 2012, 2010. No, man, no, before like that. 09. Oh nine. Wow. Oh nine, That's, bro. We seen you that night. Me bro, and my I gotta, wife. I remember. Like an elephant, Me and my wife. Because Taraji man. was there that night yep, too. Yep. And, and Biz Marquis. Bro. Yeah, R.I.P. All Biz Marquis. But you realize, you know, man, thinking about that, man, I was mad. Nobody could have done nothing about Mother Nature that night. You know, mm -hmm. I had, I had, I had. You know, promoters that owe me money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I don't, yeah, because we didn't mean? know what I you mean, were mad about. But because you know they owe me money, just because it snowed, bro. I'm out here, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I showed up. Exactly. So I was heated, but you know, liking to the Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. Wow, we get right on into it. We're jumping in, bro. I, I don't, I don't do scuba gear no more. I'm like, <laughs> I can swim. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But liking to that. The way we got to conduct ourselves, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's like you know, people people might have odds against you know one another. Or, you know, uh, uh, situations get bad, but it's how do you conduct yourself? That, you know, especially between us. If we don't know how to be uh, appropriate with one another, how can we expect the white people to be appropriate? Man. with us? right. Say that. Say that, man. You know, we got to learn. See. It's deep, man, for me when, when you look at the activity between us amongst one another, man. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because no. I'm Miami, I remember I went to the mall, I left you, and I was by myself, and I'm just walking, minding my business. The other brothers see me, they like, man, you know, looking. I'm like, why did why do we do that, hey. bro? Like, it's no, like but, a, but, a, a, but, a hate that just but there. You, you got to know what but it, I goes, love. it goes into our programming, right? Yeah. When we talk about the programming, we have been programmed, everyone. Not just black people, everyone is programmed from the time they come out of the womb. We are programmed, right? We are programmed with constant information. Or con this is how you do this. This is what it is. This is what you believe. This is what you do. This is how you move. And so now that programming comes in. But some, what if you, what if you, pro and you, sometimes you're programmed um, uh, subliminally. Yeah. Sublim subliminally, right? Yeah. Like your parents. If you got parents and they fighting every day and you seeing this. Right, you're getting the. That's what's down. That's what you understand marriage exactly. is. That so when you when you grow up, right, and you're putting this kind of toxicity uh, because you're allowing that kind of kind of behaviors because you're used to it because that's what it is. Yeah, that's what you programmed, but that's not the program. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's so Bars, you know what I'm that's saying. That's not the program. That's not the program. So it's about reprogramming, um, and a part a, part, a lot of. I, I find but you it, have to want to reprogram. That's important. But you know, it's not just. I used to be saying like it was black people. People don't want to reprogram mm -hmm. because it's too hard to like see yourself. Mm -hmm. It's too hard to see yourself. You know what I'm saying? And like when you have to see yourself, it gets uncomfortable. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I hear a lot of people who say, well, it's in your genes. No. As in, because I've heard some people say that for a long time that, you know, our ancestors, how they were treated, and it comes down in our genes, that anger, that, that um, what should I say, generational curse. There's different things that comes down into your genes. No, no. So when you talk about generational curses, you're talking about something different than DNA. Mm-hmm. DNA? What comes in DNA? What comes in DNA is your hair color, your eyes your nose, your ears, mm-hmm. your gifts. DNA carries right. gifts. Right. Right? If you can if your daddy could sing, probably you might have a gift of singing. Mm-hmm. Your dad, you know, discernment. These are, you know, a lot of things come in the blood that don't come with environment. That behaviors and all that stuff that comes with environment, mm-hmm. right? And, and and that's the, that's the curse. Mm-hmm, the curse mm-hmm. was put on the environment and we've mm-hmm. just been doing it in a cycle and a cycle and a circle and a circle and a circle and guess what it is what is that called insanity insanity doing something over and over again expecting a different <laughs> result exactly because I always I always tell people because a lot of times I normally start out by getting your backstory because you have a lot of people who come on here and they'll talk about how their daddy was, whether they were absent and you know, I'm like, okay, so how did you change that with your children? How did you try to break that? Because That's a real I'm in the process. You know what I mean? I'm in the process. You know what I mean? Like I'm if I'm gonna keep it a buck because you know, I found out, you know, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I wanted to talk about that. Let's get into that. I wanna but know hold on, let's go back. Yeah, that's first what before. I wanna do. Okay, let's let's start back. Because yeah, yeah, we yeah, jumped from Kansas, totally. We want to know, man. We want to know. City, I'm okay. from Kansas City, Missouri, man. And, and you were raised weird. how? I was raised. You jumped. <laughs> you just jumped a whole movie. <laughs> 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 There's a whole lot of stuff. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you go. There. Go ahead. So, <laughs> so coming from KC, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? My mom killed my dad. Or who I believe was my dad. Oh, who you believed to be your dad? Columbus Keith Short Senior. Wow. He was a he was a police officer in Kansas How City. How old were you when that happened? I was two weeks from being born. Wow. Yeah, I was not born yet. I was in, but you know, now that I've, I have four kids, so like now understanding, like you know, you know, right, like right. that that them, that third trimester when they can hear and they. You know, I was there. I was just in the womb. I was just protected. I've the heard womb. that. I've you heard that. You know what I mean? That. So I, all of that, that, you know, I heard the gunshot. I was there. I felt it. That's why and I had, you like, can be affected by yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's that. why, I, like, my whole life, I didn't know. I was like, man, for a long time, like, I didn't. I was like Batman. I didn't. I didn't want to mess with no guns. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, wow. Mm-hmm. I was like, uh, guns was like. Did like, your mom ever explain all of that to you when you got older? I mean, we working on it. You know. Do you have a relationship with her? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, but it gets real when the, when the gets real gets real. We can't. I'm not ready to drop about the gets real. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Okay, because okay, people okay. always, you know, they be like, "Man, you," because I go in like you right. say, "My my my," I could have been him because my mom, you know, shot, shot at my daddy, your dad, and mm-hmm. I was like three, sitting there watching. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. What I saw you did it. Yes, yes, I did. So when I say stuff like this, people are like, man, you know, the kids let him, but we go, I'm like, we channeling the same energy, man. And I thought that he would have ran out, but uh-uh. his dad didn't even run out. He ran mm-hmm. after her. Yeah. I'm like, she had my a gun. Is, we, uh, he been shot in the head once. My daddy got shot. He did. He, this is country pop. lifting. He got shot in the head with a a, a bullet, a 22, I believe, a small gun. And, you and it get, ran up his own No, thing. it never did penetrate. It stopped. And he put it in his pocket. He used to carry it you around. You got to be I'm kidding. not playing, bro. <laughs> no. He used to carry it around in his pocket. I'm not playing. That's Dang. different. And my uncle got shot in the same place. He got shot, killed, shot in the back of the head. Hey, man, my mama tore up Kansas City. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> she was bad. Jeanette, Jeanette Bentley told Kansas City apart. And if anybody know Kansas City, from 1982, she told that motherfucker up. Wow. That's on God. And I can tell you, you know me, I told my, my mama know that. I knew we cool. We can, we can, we can. Mom, you told it. You burnt that motherfucker down. Are you the only child? No, I'm from Kansas City? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the only one who experienced all of that? I, I was, re- I, so. My mom was going through the case. Mm-hmm. You got to remember this. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. Right. I was going to be born in jail. So, you know, the shorts, the shorts, Edna Short, uh, Richard Short, you know, uh, all the shorts, Janine Short, my auntie Nene, you know what I mean? They had to take me in. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know I mean, they had to because that's who, you know what I mean? Right. Boom, so that's boom, who boom. ended up raising you. But it's crazy, yeah. bro, because I just got my birth certificate like three weeks ago. And well, I ordered it eight months ago, but I just saw it three weeks ago. How did it feel looking at it? There was no name on the, there was no father's name. Wow. Mm. So, you know, that's where the case began for mm. me. But, you know, onwards and upwards. No, the, the <laughs> reason why I always like to go back into people because our viewers can see the elevation. See that right. it doesn't end with just, you know, something traumatic happening and nah. you blame every Because some people live in hate for yeah. the rest of their life and yeah. blame it all on their past and not realize that you have a future. You have a, a choice to change your your future. Correct. Not to live in hate, not to live in anger, not to live in what you did. Yeah. When, you know what I you mean? You know what's amazing about what you're saying is what's empowering me is that I was talking to one of these, this young man who's like, he's like, a he's like, I don't know, I, I, like a baby brother or like a son. But um, he was, he's went through a really bad situation. You know what I mean? He thought, this girl he was raising was his daughter. It wasn't his daughter, and it's like and a lot of people go through that. And he spiraled out, and he you know overdosed and all this mm. stuff. And you know we talked a couple of days ago, and I said, man, all you got to do, man, man, it's not. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? But right. just just keep pressing. You know what I'm saying? Do not quit. If you quit, it's over with. Do not quit. That's the name of the game. Do but I think not quit. it's harder keep for playing. someone like you. Um, to go through certain situations than a regular Joe Blow. The reason why, because you have the whole world watching you. That's what so I'm whenever about. you, you know, people see you look a certain way or, you know, act right. a certain way, right. they get to go to social media and, oh, right. he's going through this and he's this and that. How much If I had a phone you? back then when he cut up at the Palladium <laughs> Ballroom, I would have I put it out there. Oh, I would have been out here looking like a mystery back in the day. Because <laughs> they didn't have phones like that back then. Oh, yo, I settled down. <laughs> you cut up. Oh, man. Back in the day, hey, country. Yeah. Hey, they didn't, want us, they didn't want us back they in them days. No, no, no. <laughs> it was ugly. We, we was burning down cities. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> no, so, I mean, just, man, just extraordinary. I didn't know that. Have you? Are you planning on writing a book? Or I have a book out no, right now. About your life? Short yeah, but my, but my publisher. Is it about, about his life? Yeah, Autobiography. It's called, yeah, it's called Short Story. Yeah, I need but, to get that. but what's crazy about the book, it's like I got, like, and my publisher already said. <laughs> Kansas City and stay, stay with the group eight one six. Stay with the group eight one six. Not eight one six. You got go down. Stay with the group, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, but what's crazy is my publisher um, reached out to me a few months ago. He was like, I want to do a new, um, I want to do a re, a release. Uh, Cause my stuff is sold out at Barnes and right. Noble, Target, everywhere, right? So he was like, "But I'm like, man, am I ready to talk about this new discovery yet?" Right. You know, so I'm working on that. You know, I got to talk to the family, and you know, I got to, you know, I got to figure out some things first on that. Did side. you have to go through therapy for all of that? I'm in therapy right now, twice a week. How? No shame. Does that help? What? It's amazing. So you know how black people do nah, not it's like amazing. therapy. You know why it's do you amazing. lay on the couch? Nah, nah, no. Nah. We on <laughs> Zoom. Like, I don't know. We man. on Zoom. We okay. be on Zoom. Okay. And he go in, bro. Like, and and we do real work. Like, he can put up videos and like you'll watch like, you know, ten minute videos on like mindfulness or, you know, of 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 like th- there's a story that I just watched on my last therapy session that I can share, um, uh, and it was talking about um, this old Native American woman. Um, talking to her granddaughter about these two wolves that live in her mind or mm-hmm. live in her, right? One wolf is this 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 bad wolf, and one wolf is this good wolf, right? Yeah. And and or you know lion or lion, you yeah. can use whatever you can use whatever tiger or tiger, right? Bad tiger, good tiger. She was like, so okay, if they both live in, which one do I feed? Which one's bigger? Mm-hmm. Which one's bigger? Which one's stronger? Dominating. She was like, and the grandmother says, whichever one you feed. Mm-hmm. You know, so that means, what does that mean? If you're going to feed you negative, be, you're gonna are you going to feed mm-hmm. into the negative? Because, you, you know, are you going to feed that beast? Are you going to are you gonna feed the positive? I agree. And, so, and it's like, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. You know, we have to start understanding how to feed our positivity. And they're in their in life. And it starts with the thinking, right? Like, I'm a, I'm. Over, I'm a Virgo man, September 19th to the core, Virgo, overthink. I have, I'm running 98, 
Like mm. that, you know the meme with the, the, the thing in front of them? Mm. That's me all yeah. day. All day. I'm like, trying to calculate the algorithms. <laughs> 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 Do you sleep? You find it hard to go to sleep, don't you? Hell yeah, because my brain don't shut up. But mindfulness, right? It's like what mindfulness is, is you actually taking a moment, sitting, sitting, just sitting, and instead and just like holding your hands on your on your on your on your thighs. It's not like yo not and yoga. No, it's not yoga. Meditation. Listen, no, no, it's not. Listen, because people don't know how to meditate. How I can't teach you how to meditate. Okay. I'm a kid, but I can teach you how to literally start here, you know, breathing, right? Mm-hmm. Eight breaths in, eight seconds in, eight seconds out. And then you start to think about your hands and like creating power in your hands. Now you're only thinking about your hands. You're not mm-hmm. thinking about anything else. And then this is a thing called body scanning, okay? So you're scanning your body. You are. Nobody's scanning it. You are. Mm-hmm. Not a machine. You are. So you start from your toes. Now you're thinking about your toes. and You're working your way up through your calves all the way to your knees, through your thighs, to your torso. To a boom. And that, you're not thinking about anything else other than you. Wow. That, 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 and, and, and I that's see a, a lot start. of people that's do it when I'm on social media. I see a lot of people do Gundy that, but practice. I don't know what they're thinking so, about. No, it's not, you're not Listen, you're not praying to nobody. Is, no. You're not doing meditation. nothing. It's not some like super complicated yeah. algorithm. Right. It's literally you checking in with your body with you. Yeah. That makes sense. Period. Yeah, because people don't take the time to check in with no, themselves. No, they be like, we moving, we moving. We, we always we moving too fast. I, 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 you know I was man? trying to practice like Gundy, not talking for two days. I can't do it. No, nah, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man, man. People be doing, <laughs> man, check like, in I with you, bro. I broke out, out, man. I broke hey, out, bro, I broke hey, bro, out. I'm, I'm the guy, bro. I be in the crib. People be like, do you still dance? I used to be like, nah, but I be dancing. Like <laughs> I be in the crib, I be in the crib, busting hardest, Boy, sweating like listen, a mother. Listen, man, let me say something, man. This movie come on at my house periodically. <laughs> my kids, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm, sick. I'm I'm tired of the dang movie. Man, this that's nigga funny. dancing, hey, bro. Hey, bro, some cunt, something hit me a couple weeks uh, about two months ago. I was sitting in my living room and the spirit of Joe Jackson came into my living room. The ghost of Joe Jackson. Uh-uh. He said, get your ass up, boy. You can't miss a step. I start rehearsing. Nigga. I'm in my living room. <laughs> Bro. This, nigga, not mess. Nigga, I'm trying to be perfect. <laughs> nigga, like, glad, wait a minute. I want to ask oh, you about that yeah. movie. Remember this movie for a second. Now that you brought the dancing up. The Stump the Yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, how did you prepare for those parts? Do you just naturally dance? No, man, let's, this is what I talk to when I talk to all these young um, people that want to be in this business, man. You know, it's, I always, it's titled Preparation Meeting Your Destination. So what do I mean by that? When I was 17, I went to performing arts high school. I was, I was, I was, not, I was a musical theater major. I was trained. I was doing real work as an actor. Yeah, you know I mean, from before that. And I'm talking about not working in the business, but training. Because it's Michael Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell, who wrote Outliers, he says it takes 10,000 hours to be a master of your craft. 10,000 hours, you break that down, that's 10 years, right? So you gotta work for 10 years before you can be a master. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You gotta be grinding for 10 years to be a master or something, mm-hmm. right? A master blacksmith, you know what I mean? A master, you know, uh, illustrator, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you wanna do. And so, boom, then I went from high school, I went to do stomp. This Broadway show stop. Well, we had to. Oh, yeah. I had to learn how to use our bodies. I mean, I had to be use my body and, an, and animated objects to make music, mm-hmm. right? So then, boom. Then I came off a of stomp and I started choreographing for Britney. So now I'm a, like I'm a choreographer, all this stuff. And then I got the opportunity. And you loved it all this time, I, all the time. And all before. everything, all of those things: acting, stomp, Britney. Stomp the yard. My preparation led you up met to that. My destination. Wow, dope. And it was That's easy. Cool. And it was easy. Easy. Easy breezy. You did an amazing job. Thank you, man. My everybody kids did. love it, man. Well, everybody mm-hmm. did an amazing job How, in that movie. Did you? So, did you know Chris Brown before that? No, no. But you know, we right before it because there was no way they were gonna give me the movie. So I had to. It was a lot of like Neil was my guy. Megan is. My, I grew up with Megan. You grew up with Megan. Grew up. Grew up, grew up. 
that's like sis, sis. Okay. Oh, okay. So y'all had to do two shots of tequila to even kiss her because we, we, we grew up like that, like we grew up like for real like family. <laughs> for real. Everybody, everybody be like, hey, I was kissing Mike and good, bro. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that's my family for real. So yeah. it was weird, but we did it, and but you know everyone came around uh, and supported me in that move. Um, and I was forever g- grateful for it. Yeah, you did a And great it was job. really like, I didn't get a chance to go to college, bro. You feel me? And living, doing the movie Regular. gave me a college uh, experience. experience. You know what I mean? And a real, like, well, Theta New Theta, I take serious. Did you mm-hmm. really want to, did you want to go to college? Or? I did. I was, I was accepted to Juilliard. Okay. Uh, oh. Boston Conservatory, NYU, and, and Berkeley go. School of Music. Wow. wow. And Berkeley School of Music was where I was going to go. So but what happened when you didn't go? I had to get out of my house, man. It was going, too much going on at the crib. Yeah. And I was like, I had to go. And back then, you still had a temper so, then? No, it had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. I was a kid. I was a kid. I was 17. Mm. I had nothing to do with so my So when mom. you left, where did you go? To Stomp. Oh. Yeah. He, he went, I left. I think you you made. I went on tour. But God okay. is something else, man. Because God, like I said, your your you, the way you explained it is just hit, man. Like everything lined out because yeah. you you know the steps of a good man are about a lot mm. anyway. The man already was walking in purpose, and mm. and we think we doing some a lot of times, and we just meet. we ain't doing nothing. Exactly, I right. say that all the time. Right, like it's like man, we just we just need to just have faith, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what is faith? Faith without su- faith without so, what works is dead. Is what, okay, mm-hmm. I just wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what is faith? Faith is the substance, substance of, of things hoped for and the evidence of things, things not, not seen. seen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have to walk blindly, right? Correct. Sometimes you got to leap into the proverbial void, wow. just so you can ju- like you can't say you want some, you want some, but you scared to go get it. Scared to give up something for it, like you gotta, you yeah. gotta, you got. You Y'all can't, hear that? You gotta, you can't just say you want something. You gotta give up something for it. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice. I've done it. Yeah, we've done it. We've done. It. You have to do it. You gotta do it in order to grow. Exactly. For real. And and so I was looking at something where I seen you. You on an interview with Mike Tyson. Oh yeah. And I was like, dude, you and, and you and you really, you know, paid homage. You, you know, you respect him, man. Um, how did how did you link with him, and and how did y'all build uh, a relationship? Mike, man, Mike is my. When I say that's my big brother, who would have thought in a million years, <laughs> man? <laughs> man, it's so, He's it's hilarious. so sad. Of, so, so I wrote. I created. I met Evander Holyfield. And you know we were talking with. I was talking to. I went had lunch with Evander, and in uh, and, and L.A. And uh, every time every story Evander told me had Mike in it, and I'm like, man, why you keep talking? I'm like this man talking about, man, he has something on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't never got over the ear thing, man. Like, man, that nigga did, 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 he disrespected me, man. He disrespected my game, man. Like, I was, supposed to, I was supposed to do that that night. Like, he really <laughs> stole his moment, really, when you think about so, it. So, so, you know wait, so, wait. <laughs> do you know this? Yeah, yeah I, know. I know this. So, he, he told me the whole moment. thing. So, I'm like, bro, I said, man, we got to do a, sh- we got to do a, we, I, got, I came up with this, this movie. Okay. And I'm like, man. Came up with this movie. I'm like, I gotta go get. He said, You get Mike. If you get Mike, I'm in. <laughs> I said, All right. I had no contacts to Mike. <laughs> I was like, How am I gonna find Mike freaking Tyson, man? Somebody knows somebody. Somebody that to. knows somebody that knows know somebody. somebody. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So I did that. So I <laughs> pulled it off. Exactly. So my, I'm in Arizona with my cousin Junior Spivey and, my, and his wife, Tabitha, my cousin's Tab. She was like, uh, Columbus, I, you should call, you know who you should call? You should call Sam. I said, Sam. Sam is like new Don King. You know, Sam behind everybody. You know the white hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the Uncle Sam. That's wow. my Uncle Sam. That's my man. The real you know, Uncle that's Sam. That's the real Uncle yes, Sam. So. so I said, man, uh, I call Uncle Sam. He said, hey, 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 Columbus, I got you. He said, I got you right now. And I had been doing all these roadmaps. And Trying to get to Yeah. Him. But Sam, Sam said, be- bing, bong, bong, bing, bong. Um, and he just got it. So he was like, when you back in L.A.? Because I was in Arizona. And uh, I was back in L.A. That was a Saturday. Uh, I, I'm thinking I'm meeting with uh, Mike Tyson, brother-in-law, Azim, who is now my brother, uh, and his wife, Kiki. Mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. walk into the conference room, bro. And that was him right and there. And Mike Tyson sitting at 
the head of the table smoking a joint. That's like, him. It, it was him for real. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he be like, thunk, thunk, thunk. <laughs> 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 Man, this this podcast is crazy. (laughs) What the hell's going on? So I'm, I start. I'm like, he's like a pitch. You know, they're like, give him, give him the pitch, pitch it. So I start, I start opening. Like I'm like, I'm very much into it. I'm like, okay. So we open. It's it's a, a dusty road. Oh, the show. There's a truck, blah, blah, blah. and then this pigeon flies onto the thing, and the pigeon lands onto the. And they said, "Don't film me." This pigeon lands into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> How could you keep a serious face during that, the whole time? I was know. dead ass because it's Mike. Me. What you mean? Because <laughs> no. I was dead. I'm dead ass serious. And he nailed it. He said, "Don't film me." The pigeon lands in my hand. I said, it definitely lands in your hands, Mike. And that's the opening. Wow. He was like, where the fuck did the guy explain this guy? <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> Uncle Man. <laughs> Man. OG. Man. Triple, triple Man. OG. He found himself in these podcasts. They loving him, man. Bro, he back. You know, you know no, him. man, Mike, Mike, I love him so much. His family, his wife. Uh, is my sister, his brother, Azim, man, his his mother-in-law, uh, uh, Amar Ali, Pop Ali, you know what I mean? They 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 are they are special humans, man. And uh, you know, I'm I'm happy to see that Mike. Uh, he was the story for me. Like this was a champion, man. Yeah, he fell from grace. But you when know? you met him, though, compared, you know how like I see you on TV all the time and stuff like that. And I get my own perception of you, but when you actually meet a person, you learn something new. What was it about him that surprised you when you met him in person compared to nothing. nothing? Nothing. He's exactly who I thought he was. You thought yeah, he because was because my spirit identified with him from, from okay the first time I ever seen him. That fight, that everything. But you know, he's a student. You know, like you can make jokes about Mike, but like Mike's a brilliant man. You know That's what, what everybody says. Like mm-hmm. he's a freaking brilliant man. Like for real. Just because he doesn't sound, it doesn't come out right. The way he talks. I don't stop you from. <laughs> but he's more real. He's right. more well read than people that have master degrees wow. at universities. I, I just true. remember when we had a guy named Mo Three that got killed here on yeah, the yeah, on the, the, the shot yeah. yeah. on the freeway, Correct. had him run on the freeway. Correct. Correct. He had seen Mike right before that, and Mike was talking. Why do y'all do this? What you know? He was right. checking. Oh Boosie yeah, Mike. Yeah, and Mike, Mike and checked Mo, and, and that was Mo Three was on that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. That was the guy. I was, I was like, that was hey, at Tyson Ranch, bro. That's right. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. he was really giving it to him. Yeah, he and, was. And 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 it made me think about these podcasts and these moments because we had a guy here. I shout out to Wardy Two Live mm-hmm. who got killed right after he left her by the guy that was standing behind him. One of his with him on the set. And so I be like, man, you know these moments we get together. You gotta say what you gotta say. Get it out there because you got this moment. You don't know if it's and you last. don't know. You don't know. So you gotta take advantage of making sure when you sit behind these mics that you make sure that yeah, you take these moments be coming out, to do the you right know, thing. I watched that. I watched Mo Three interview with with what's her name? Vlad. Vlad. With Vlad. Okay. With Vlad. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Because <laughs> you got you you. I don't respect you, Vlad. Wow. I don't respect you, Vlad. So. <laughs> so what, what because is, because Vlad is extorting and, 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 and using and he probably worked for the FBI or something everybody says you that you know what I'm saying like bro you a weak ass nigga bro let's keep it real you know what I mean like we gonna like we don't stop going on Vlad TV black people wow he ain't for y'all he ain't for us wow he ain't he just wants you on there cancel him stop canceling wow. our people cancel that Wow, mm-hmm. man. Shout out to Boss Talk 101, man. Columbus Short <laughs> on here spitting it. He telling you to come support black people with black businesses that been here for 15 plus years and he just show up, man. That's a blessing, man. Thank you for supporting us, man. Yeah, man. You so in, the, in that support, man, you know, I just want to educate. Uh, yeah, like everybody asks me all the time, like, what you got going, Columbus? What you, got, what you doing, Columbus? Can I know and you always studying? Yeah, I'm, I'm a student like Kobe, man. Yeah. I'm a Virgo. Kobe was a Virgo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Black Mamba. He was a consummate student, right? And that's what every I want everybody to be. 
You know what I mean? But now what? how can we level the player field? Man, God has put me in a position um, that I never thought I would be in that has nothing to do with entertainment, that has nothing to do with being famous, um, but everything to do with putting people in a position to be successful and even the playing field. And what is that? That started from the crypto and went into the NFTs, mm -hmm. right? And I, you know, people didn't know what an NFT was. Right. Listen, let me say this for you, and you're going to get right dead into that, but that's what Faison loved when he came on here. He was like, man... I don't understand it. I told him on the time, like, I don't understand it either. We're in the blind in this. When people came at me, I'm saying it's like some kind of what they call pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. no. I have no idea what it, it is. And then the guy's like, man, e, you got to get in. I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't know about that crypto. And usually when black gamble. people hear about something, it's people already like too to late. Right. So give us the spill on what it is so we can understand it so our listeners... And break it down to the yeah, simplest form for anybody understand. to understand. We is broke, lost on the crypto. Absolutely. Broke, lost on the crypto. <laughs> so... so. <laughs> You ain't broke and you ain't lost. You just don't know about the crypto. So let me know you about the crypto from a real crypto. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. So, uh, so what what is crypto? You know, cryptocurrency is a of uh, it's 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 currency that you can exchange. Mm -hmm. um, through uh, the internet, right? Right. Like through through the web, through you know, electronic, electronically. Yes. Okay. Um, and why? Why is this important? So you got Bitcoin and Dodge coin. You know, Snoop got a coin. Now, what do these coins do? Like in different worlds in a virtual reality, is it like a stock? This is exactly what it is. Okay. okay? Now, certain coins are valuable. Now, you got to right. watch it like you watch an Apple. Like you watching your, you know, and if you know about stock, you know, about, let's break it down. But most people, some people, black people, I didn't know about stocks. I didn't know about stocks. I got my I first million dollars. I, do you know how quick I blew away, blew <laughs> through my uh, first did, million dollars? What did you Man, do? I, That's I, a I, good I thing. I, I bought an M6. I got a uh, cash. Uh, uh, I got a, got a, got a, uh, S sixty five, A and T. I went to Cancun. Went to uh, <laughs> Tulum. Uh, jets. Like I'm just money gone. Yeah, you know I mean, how did it, it, was it, the, it, it was the it was the entertainment that got it the meal. No, it, uh, no, yeah, stomp the yard, stomp the yard. It they blew that meal. What you mean? When, when they, they gave blew it up? to you, yeah. No, they. I, I work. I got nothing for the movie, but when the movie was number one two weekends in a row, like a government check, I got checks. Mm. I was kicking like, it. What? Never seen that much money in my life. And you still get residuals from it today. Yeah, yeah, today. So, but what I'm paying? Lack of financial education. Right, like uh, fi financial literacy. I was financially illiterate. As far as I, so I didn't know how to handle it. it I, so what I, all I was trained in was like how to be a talent, mm -hmm. right? Just you know, had nothing. To, didn't understand monetary. So, so what, what what an NFT is? Let's go to NFT. It's a non fungible token. So it's an image. So like anything here is an image. This is an image. Uh, that all these are images, and. You can mint these, but what minting means is you can make a collection. And now people say, oh man, these are in the store hidden away. They in the store over here in unique fashion in the middle of uh, 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 Ball Springs. Like, but what if somebody wants that picture and they're willing to pay for that picture? Now you're minting 10,000 of the pictures with you and my, Michael. But does Blake. it have to be a picture that nobody else has? It has to be like one? No, it could be anything. Okay. Like it could be anything. Okay. But, but the point, but you, but it's not about what it is. It's about the community, okay. right? And we talk about the blockchain. Okay, now we're going to the blockchain. So you can have an NFT. You can have an image, okay. right? Mm -hmm. You say, I wanna, I'm want i going to mint this image. I'm going to put it on the blockchain. What blockchain? What blockchain? Mm -hmm. You don't oh, have no. a community. No, you don't have a community. If you don't have so a community, like so public. like us. So you have so to like create us. a community. So let's like us, right? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, like, oh, yo, people pay. So let me back up. People pay three hundred thousand dollars to be a board ape, right? Like to walk around like a monkey. First of mm -hmm. all, black people they not fucking with that for real, unless they really already know, like Soldier Boy and them. Right. Like we ain't. Why we don't? Y'all gonna? We don't. We don't want to be monkeys. It's all white people walking around looking like monkeys. Mm -hmm. Three hundred thousand dollars. So what? This is crazy. Justin Bieber paid one point three, raised the market value. Now to be a board ape is one point three. You gotta can't. That's the floor now. Mm. Bieber, Bieber came in hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I was like, wait, these are sharks. 
I said, these are sharks, man. I said, so what kills a shark? Either a school of dolphins or a goddamn orca. Mm -hmm. We making these orcas. So I was like, we gonna make these orcas, but what? We gonna make some cool orcas too. They cool. They gonna they swag two hundred fifty renderings. Meaning you gonna have a LeBron orca, a, 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 a Seth Curry orca, a Britney Spears orca. You know we can have a U orca. You know what I'm saying? We can have a, you know the Columbus orca. You see a three piece suit, nigga smoking a blunt, mm, yeah, a little yeah. Sip mm -hmm. with a sip on the side. You know that's me walking through that, right? Mm -hmm. Point being is what's in that image. It is art, right? Where the image is art. Artwork. Mm -hmm. So it's artwork. So like if you went into Sotheby's, or uh, for for some viewers, Sotheby's is like a art gallery. And that could be, you know, there's art galleries all over the world. And they hold the Mona Lisa's and the Jackson Pollock's and the Salvador Dali's and the you know, all the finest art. Now this this is what it is. But what there's nothing in the art, there's no tangible thing. So what we load into these images it's smart. It's called the smart contract. Okay. In these images, when you are an orca, now you get privileges, mm -hmm. real life utilities, just for being a holder of this NFT. Really? Yes. So if you have that picture, so let's say that picture was an NFT. Right. In that picture, if you had it in your phone, being a holder of that picture, if that's minted by an orca, Orca United, now because you're a member, let's start with worldwide global transportation. Worldwide concierge service. So if you land in Nashville, you land in Kansas City, you land in Heathrow Airport in London, right when you, you know, terminals are, you know, trying to get through O'Hare is hard, trying to get through even DFW sometimes, you gotta get to this time, blah, blah. Man, you're getting guided by an orca, met with an orca, boom, picked up, taken to your hotel, boom, that's that's coming with a holder. Oh. Another thing wow. that's another thing that I was seeing, uh, you know, I'm a solution. I'm a pro I'm a solution problem guy. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't a problem solver. Like where's the problems? Let's solve it. Yeah. Like, another problem I said, man, the way Putin tripping, Kim Young Jong, all these motherfuckers tripping, bro. Mm -hmm. So I said, man, what if they shut the power grid down? That's true. I and I'm eating, I mean, I'm I've met I have met but everybody's the, going so the good. most brilliant minds <clears throat> so blessed to have met the most brilliant minds i've ever i'm talking about the nikola teslas mm -hmm. the, the einsteins i'm talking about the, whew, the boom. and they all have these things but i was like what if tomorrow they got hundreds of millions of dollars in this in this in crypto like sitting in the and they can transfer it over it's all you know that's that's so I'll teach you guys that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm yeah. going to be dropping that. Yeah. But, but you know, they can, in this crypto, they got they worth $200 million. But guess what? If the power grid goes out, it you can't get, it's gone. Can't get it back. So I said, what do we do here? Just to give our holders, some, especially people I'm the community, the people I'm trying to bring in, what do we do? We partner with a gold mining company. So now every month, half of your returns is coming because you're in the blockchain. The returns as doc, as Orca United blows, so do you, 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 so do you. Everybody blows in the community. So the mm -hmm. value of holding that Orca, that image, right? And you maybe you bought in at like say a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, which mm -hmm. equates to probably probably let's say point five Ethereum, right? You coming in, you coming in sweet. And you can now, come in at any amount. No, we start a floor, right? You know, you can, but if you're in at point five, then Shaq comes and buys the Orca, mm -hmm. and he said he buys the Orca for a million dollars. Guess what? That's worth a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Now you got some returns coming. Mm -hmm. Half of your returns are going to come in a gold coin minted with your Orca. So now you have a physical asset. Put that on the couch. Put that in the safe. Take that to the boom. Don't gold. take it to the bank. Put that in the safe at the crib. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, in case something goes south. Yeah, you know I mean, I want people to be have some security then there's wow. you understand and I like what I'm saying? that I like that it's because dope. then yeah, you know I mean, even with banks you, you be like okay <clears throat> yeah. it's insured you right. want something that is nah, insured and don't take the gold to the bank right because what the bank shut down mm -hmm. um, they not going to give you you think they going to send a um, 30 day notice mm -mm. to let y'all know mm -mm. if they pull the plug they pulling the plug no more banks what wow. you got bro nothing nothing mm -hmm. you better have something in the crib and that's real. So, boom. Those are. That's another part of the. That's another part of being a part of Orca United um, Society. In that smart contract, you get that. Then you have this live and digital platform access. So, what does that mean? We're building a city in the metaverse because that's where we're going, right? The end game 
is the metaverse, right? Everybody, you know, sandbox, all this stuff, but I saw problems there. In the metaverse, you want to go hang out with Snoop? Well, guess who? that's cool right now, but AI is smart. AI is taking your brain, your brain, your brain, your brain. They getting smarter and smarter. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have securities to protect your metaverse, it's gonna get taken over by AI, right? Mm -hmm. So we set, I put those proper securities in place to build Orkana, the first metropolis in the metaverse. It's gonna be a full city, like the movie Free Guy. Like when you land in there, wah, Orkana, hospital, backlining with Teta Medicine. If you wanna come in, you in Cancun, you ran out of your anxiety meds or your, your diabetes, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever mm -hmm. meds, uh, blood pressure medicines. Boom, you get an immediate, you're an orchid holder, you're immediately, you know, right there with your uh, doctor in the Oculus, is boom, and then have a real life utility in real life, right? CVS, you pick up your prescription. Right. You know, partnering oh. with Sony. You're just thinking about everything. No, but it's uh, like, and, and not only that, he, came to, he comes into this world and he don't just sit, he starts to try to figure out ways to be a creative mind to construct to help a people. defensive mechanisms toward right. weaknesses within the whole realm. Correct, That's correct. Dope. So like partnering with Sony, and Warner Brothers and Paramount and Universal. Now we're giving the studios no more. I'm sorry, no more, no more movie theaters. I mean, we can have them as, as a uh, what's it called? Some uh, 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 a pastime, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But you know, like a you know something that's. If, if, I, I love going to the picture show. A lot of people you know, are not they, doing you know, that anymore. But no, yeah, but we at the crib watching movies. Right. So now, boom, Sony got their own movie theater. Warner Brothers got their own movie theater. Te and Netflix, Hulu, boom. Boom, boom. Red Light District. I watched this documentary on how brothels built America. And I said, what? And then I was thinking about, I said, Mark Zuckerberg, he got these people out here on, on OnlyFans. They making all this money on. And guess what? Mark Zuckerberg owns your content, guys. Mm -hmm. He owns he your content. He does. He owns your everything, your we've data. Been, we've been talking about that. I just posted Lil Brook. <laughs> he takes your Instagram, Boosie, and he does what he want to do with uh, people's people lose them every day, and like they just the drop deal. them, and 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 then people's income change too. Well, here's you know, the deal: when, so, when they monetize. So here's the deal: what's the difference between? And I'm gonna shut it down right here. I can't say nothing else after this. Mm -hmm. I already know. So, uh, uh, preneur. So I have, I'm an owner in this company called Preneur. Mm -hmm. And preneur, what's preneur? So preneur is we have business preneur. Uh, it's called preneur, but it's we have artist preneur, business preneur, service preneur, dance preneur, actor preneur. You know, there's a bunch of preneurs. Can I get a? Hey, can I yes. get a? Yep, boom, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that exactly. Yeah, 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 she got you. Got you. So, um, Go ahead. Why? Why? So anything you do, bruh, boss talk one on one. Anything you send out, guys, on Instagram, only 1.2 percent of your followers are seeing that. It's in the algorithm. Mark Zuckerberg put it there on Facebook and I so, can tell. And, and I don't know why he did it. So if you have 600 followers, that'll say the number. Let's say 600 followers, 1.2. That's 12. 12 people. They could be ghosts. They could be non, like not even real. They could be bots. Mm -hmm. So we're falling on deaf ears. So that how are you reaching your market? How are you reaching your people? Preneur is now you're creating your own phone book, like and all of your followers by show of hands. Use your you know, you, you can bring them over from social media little by little, right? And, and use social media just to bring them over. But what's the point? If Mark Zuckerberg can own our data, Facebook can own our data, if American Express can own our data, if Macy's can own our data, if, you know what I mean, Bloomingdale's yeah. and all these people can own our data, why can't we own our own data? So, I've always said so, that. so now yeah. what Preneur does is allows you to own your data. Okay. Mm -hmm. Period. So, they, so Preneur is- So it, every time you say, hey, Check it out, bruh. ECEO here, boss talk, blah, blah, blah. Click in, we click the number in my bio right now. Boom, or click preneur in my bio, uh, to call the number in my bio, or text the number in my bio, code CEO, or boss talk. I'm gonna send you all the latest updates and boom, 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 boom. Now instead of 1.2% visibility, you're getting 100% visibility. Because everybody in your contact, everybody in your phone book that says, I wanna, I want, I wanna know everything boss talk is doing. I want I show you guys got fans we and it doesn't lot. it doesn't show it doesn't reflect on right because the thing. even you feel in, me? because even in YouTube cheers by the way cheers yeah, cheers, man. cheers YouTube is the no, same no because way. even when we are on YouTube and we go live and as much as everybody Where you from? hit Jamaica Jamaica 
And everybody, <laughs> and everybody hit the um, notification bell. When they come on our live, they then they're like, but we didn't get a notification for this. Exactly. We didn't so, see so, this. So I could literally, what I'm going to do is I think we should do next week, and I would love to do this with you guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set you guys up an account. Okay. That's on me, on the love. Boss Talk, you know, Boss Talk Preneur account. Um, because you have a huge network. Yeah. And if you let people know, hey, you got you got to update stuff. Like even when you guys get new clothes and stuff, you, can you, put know, it how, you know, you say, hey, new stuff out, new drops. You know what I mean? And you're sending out. So if you, what what's great about this, entrepreneur, is that so when I say, so I say, uh, we just launched. So I got probably about 200,000. So in my phone book, I go in and you guys control it. This is not somebody doing this for you. And I walk you through okay. how to do it. Right. When and, did Panua start? I don't mean. Uh, it's been around for a little bit, but it didn't start till I showed up. <laughs> so, like, like you, you, you start really, so you're really the same thing. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm, you know. So, again. did you? Are you part owner in yes, it? Yes, I am. Okay. How, so, how did you? How did you? Be, it brings up the question: How did you get into Panua? How did you? Uh, how did well, you find you know, out about you, it? Well, well, you well, saw it and you were so, impressed by it. No, that's not how. Because I wasn't impressed by it when I first saw it. Okay. Um, because I didn't know, understand what it was. What it what was. What it was. And nobody did. Um, just like I didn't know about NFTs. Just I didn't. I didn't understand a lot of stuff. But mm -hmm. I had to dive in to understand. So, what I realized what Preneur provides is bringing back. Well, this is what the DAO, a DAO, DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. Mm -hmm. We are a de decentralized autonomous organization. Meaning, we are not. We're not controlled. All of us, right? We are so. In that DAO, things move differently. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for example, my guy that started Preneur is my CTO for Orca United. Okay. okay. So he builds companies, right? He built up the Adobe technologically, right? Built Adobe. He built them, to send, gets them to IPO and sells them, which is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. But now he's like, man, I want to just I want to help my people. What's amazing about this NFT crypto space, metaverse, all this stuff that people want to are so spooked out about is that majority of the people behind the scenes are young African-American brilliant techs. Really? Brilliant. Like brilliant. Silicon Valley didn't let them in and they figured out they back way. And this is the back way because wow. now, you know, what I mean, now we got a voice. So. You know, I'm doing my rounds. This is my first stop. Hey, first Boss stop. Talk 101. Thank this you. is his first this stop. Is Columbus first Short Stop by Boss Talk. Say it again. Out of Texas. First stop. This is my first stop. I'm going to see, sit down with the SACs, the Screen Actors Guild, the Directors Guild of America. I'm sitting down with PGA, WGA, Teamsters. Uh, I want to bring us together to understand what we got to come together and do is, is, is locking on this DAO. And what does that mean, DAO? If we have a Dow coin, who's fucking with us? Nobody, because it's yours. It's the way you explained it earlier. If we have a Dow coin, everything works on the Dow. We can, mm. we exchange in the Dow. We change the way we exchange. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We can't change changes and change until we change <laughs> and know how to exchange. Right? <laughs> He's right. So let's change it. Decentralized autonomous organization. The time is Dow. Wow. Wow. The time is down. Man, so, man, you, like I said, I, I knew when you was talking with the passion you were speaking with about Instagram, when you called, you like, what, what y'all got on your Instagram? I knew it was something you had up your sleeve. I heard you. I, she was talking to but you. But if you've been watching like, his Instagram for a while, you've been talking about NFTs and all of that for a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the orcas. And, and you know I what I realized? You know what the first step? It. But the first step is education. Right? Yeah. Right. And Definitely. this is the first step. This right. is why it starts here. So, you know, I want to, you know, lock in with me. Y'all lock in with me. For sure. On Preneur. You know, you can lock in. I'm going to be doing a weekly bulletins. Yeah. They're going to come. It's going to be called Orca United Digest, where it's going to be educational videos. Me talking. Like, how to even set up a Coinbase, like a wallet. Yeah. You know, we got to start from the basics. We got to close the knowledge gap. Because they moving so fast. I'm like, I can't leave my people behind. Mm -hmm. That's wow. That's out. You know what I'm saying? That's out for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, as I'm learning, I'm like, man, what about, because they moving so fast. But I'm like, all right, well, I'll be the bridge over troubled water. Let my people go. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still so much for you to learn because this is our- I'm learning every day. 
It's a daily. It's oh, it's a oh man, and that's it's like when I was doing Scandal. Um, Leon Panetta said, uh, "You know what was what was it like uh, have a day in the White House? Have you ever tried to drink water out of a fire hose? No, nah, lips yeah. blew off. Blew off. Nah, man, that's what it's like in this space right now because these the, the mind, you know, humans are competing with AI now, not themselves anymore. Mm -hmm. So human, these br mm -hmm. the most brilliant humans there." Mm -hmm. All day, because that's but they don't know how to. The era we're but in if, right you're, now. if you're key, if you're let them relax, let them stay on the front lines, mm -hmm. and let us be the ones to to communicate, not to take advantage, but educate. Because think about this: it's revenge of the nerds. I'm sorry, guys. It's revenge of the nerds, the brilliant ones that people bullied in school and ignored. That was mo that's these so motherfuckers true. is millionaires. They the mm -hmm. ones. So it's you're cool mad. To be a nerd, you know what I mean? You see, you know what I mean? When well, yeah. y'all was shitting on them, now they sh woo. They ain't playing, playing no game. They coming with board shorts, flip flops, with Rari's <laughs> pulling up on you, mm -hmm. on mamas. Mm -hmm. Already. So, so what I'm saying is, we have, but they don't know how to speak. You know, they'll go too fast. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we're going whip three. We're going, uh, we're going DF Dive and we're mm -hmm. talking you know, all that tech. Way. And you're like, what mm -hmm. the fuck you talking what? about, man? Tech talk. Definitions, <laughs> like, please. Bro, break it down for me, bro. Yeah, they I don't know. know how to break it down. So that's what I am. I am the translator, translator. for the geniuses. Hey, <laughs> man. I just, like I you said. You should do a movie man. about it. That's interesting. That's because interesting. then people, people understand things a lot better through movies when you give scenarios and everything and they can see it by the time we make the movie and the time this shit come out we already yeah. gonna be pretty <laughs> shifting yeah. yeah i mean what's happening right now and i want i don't know no man left behind mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying let's get right ask me any question i'll get you the answer if yeah. i don't have the answer i'll say i don't have the answer and i'll get it i'm gonna I'll definitely figure it out. people I'm will definitely be in the comments asking all the questions no. And yeah, 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 yeah. contact me on Preneur. You know, my IG, yeah, you hit me on official C short, but really that number, hit me on that number. I'm gonna get you guys a number. We're gonna generate a two one four for you sure. guys. For sure. Uh get you a two one four, set your preneur account up, you send me the pictures. I'll get you guys locked in and you guys start bringing your community in because you guys talking about a real lot of man, good stuff. We, man, we mm -hmm. trying to make sure we keep our keep people on, on yeah. you know, on point yeah. on what's going on. Because with in absolutely. today's society, everybody's on their phones. Right. On YouTube. Right. Watching. People are not watching TV no more. But You're think about all those empty that. transactions. So those are empty transactions. Mm -hmm. So when you That's saying so. like when you when you got like LinkedIn, like you are a link tree, so you gonna say, Can follow me? Uh, uh, uh. Now you you know I realize this when I'm I'm putting Mike Tyson's preneur together right now. Sorry, I'm putting bars. But, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but but I realized he had all this stuff all over the place, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like central. You got a this going on, you got a this going on, you got a that going on, you got a that. It's all these different locations. You streamline everything. Your people, the people that give a care about you. That's right. You know what I mean? The ones that are in your network for real, in your community, they click on it. They know all the stuff you're doing because it's right there. And stuff, they, oh, even the old stuff, whatever you want to put on there, right? And all your stuff is focused. It's in a file. It's in a brief. It's right there, centralized, organized. You in the game. I'm holding you to my my Panua account coming, exactly. baby. Hey, man, your Panua hey, on account. the way. Coming, Boss baby. Boss on the way. We here now. <laughs> <laughs> we here oh, now. Mama. So I mean, you, no, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you no, go. no, no. You go. <laughs> no, I was gonna go back into the film a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. But um, because I know you did Scandal. Yes, ma'am. And so, but what do you prefer to do? You prefer to do TV TV series or movies? Like I, in I prefer to do music. I was gonna get into I know, that. I know you love music, but, but if you, I, if you but had to I'm, choose between those two, movies. Why? Because I don't want to play the same person all the time. I like to change. I like to I like to embody characters and you know when you when you really embody a character, you have to go in. And so, you know, when you go in, you got to also get out. And when you get out, you need some time to like refine yourself. But when you're playing the same person over and over, you know, every day, like why hasn't Jaleel White been in no movies? Because He's an amazing he actor. People see He's him a as phenomenal that actor, but he played Urkel mm -hmm. every day. 
and that's all they saw. That's all they see him as. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to be Harrison Wright all every week for six years. I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a, I hit it, and I quit it, and I keep pushing forward, because it's the ball, we got to keep evolving. We got to keep pushing, we got to keep growing. So I never get, I'm never comfortable with where I'm at. But at least in movies, I get to, I get to emote and I get to tell the stories. Oh, uh, you know, I don't want to tell no more slave stories, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got, I got projects. You know, I, I got the life rights to Doc Ellis. He threw a no hitter on LSD. Amazing story. No, yeah. but but the story is not amazing because he threw a no hitter on LSD. The story is amazing because this man struggled with addiction. He struggled with alcoholism. Is that the he one that you you studied? You actually became had to become an alcoholic. No, no, I, I haven't done it yet. Okay, because somebody was telling me that you had to play a part. Where oh, you Cadillac died. Records. Right. Little Walter. So you actually yeah. became an yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, I, me- I was a method actor then. And method is amateur night. Mm. And I realized that because I'm s- I was so scared of losing him, mm. right? Losing it, losing the character. Like if I go home, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget how to be him. I'm going to forget how to- So I got to be him at all times. Man, nah. Now, growth, it's like you... Like you go to work, you put your lab coat on. And when you leave, you take it you off. You take it off and you go back home. And that's where I've grown to. How long to. did it take you to? to 39 years. <laughs> so today, to today's years that. old. <laughs> so, so wow. I mean, when I seen you play those anger parts, you really embodied those. The the when he was mad on this Christmas, he was upset. I've been mad my whole life, dog. I mean, all mamas, I've been. Hey, hey, nigga, say if the character if the character say mad, nigga, got him. Play them parts right there, man. <laughs> bro, you got some real shit. too. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Real. Like, I'm like, you, you I'm know what? into it, bro. But that's what I love about acting, and I love about music. I love about art. Art allows you to emote um, everything you can't deal with in your real life. But then sometimes, which happens with a lot of actors, think about all the actors that have killed themselves, rock stars yeah. that have killed themselves yeah. or died or OD'd or anything. It's because. Instead of dealing with our issues, we hide in our in our, Under, in our craft. The character. And not the character, the art. The art. The art. And when I could hear a guitar, I, I don't even care. Jimmy Hendrix didn't care. He could put that acid right on there, tie the thing, tie his bandana in, sweat it out on the stage, and high as a giraffe's ass. Doesn't care. Mm. Because he's emoting and he's living, he's not thinking about anything. But that's not... It's not the way to do it. But then at the end yeah. of the day, when you finish that, you go back to reality. You have to deal with well, it. And that's why you, nobody, wants to, nobody wants to be back. Nobody wants to be re- reality. reality, right? So it's like, let's get to reality, dude. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to reality, man. man. And that's been, that's been, been the problem with a lot of people with me because they don't. I'm a real one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm a, we, you know what I mean? Well, I'm not a real one like, oh, man, what's no, good? No, 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 I'm no, no. On every, no. No, you're all right. I'm like, I'm, I keep it real with you guys, man. And it's like, bro. You know what I mean? I, you know, it hurt my heart seeing what happened, was going down with Orlando Brown. You know what I mean? And that's my baby brother. And I wish I could have, like, wrapped my arms around him like I wanted my some of my olders. You know, I'm sorry, Orlando. I should have came and got you. You know wow. what I mean? Like, what? What bad, that makes bro. sense, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what you mean? gotta mm-hmm. go to them when you can, you know and you mean? know them, you have a yeah. relationship. Right. Yeah, talking about them and not talking to them yeah, is a problem. It's whack. Yeah. It's a problem. Oh, what's going on with Columbus? Yeah, All y'all yeah, talking? Yeah, All y'all talking? talking. Everybody ain't nobody calling. Like, bro, no, right. Right. are you good? Because look, bro, you don't, mental health is real, bro. It is so real. Yeah. Like, y'all don't know. Y'all don't call, check on somebody, bro. Call and check Especially on somebody, man. Especially during the pandemic man. when a lot of people weren't working and stuff yeah. like that. Call and check on your people's people man. People laughing and, and really not even I'm talking about your uncles, your yeah. aunties. Mm-hmm. Just called one while ago. Yeah, you for gotta, real. You got to make that call. Because it take you know, it's a fine line. The mind. The mind is a f- fragile place, right? There's neurons and there's things that are going on in our brains. And it takes one thing that Pop. break that fabric that's called a nervous breakdown, right? Somebody mm. just wow. click out. Yeah. That's why they you got to check out. in every day and you do gotta, those. Yeah, you got to check in. Breathe. And I'm not even talking about me. I'm talking mm-hmm. about like I no, seen people, people click out. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I seen them click out. I don't. Yeah. I've never. I haven't. I've clicked out a couple times. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But you Fair. click right back in. But I click right back in. Okay. Some people click out and they don't know how. Never to, come they back. They never right. come back. And you'll see that blank, that vacant. Like you look in their eyes and they're vacant. 
Like they're like they just. But how can you help somebody like that? I don't. Once they, I I, would, you should have helped them before it. they clicked. Mm. <laughs> no, you, you, you. Some people said it. No, nah, when they I don't say what, the once the, no, I'm talking about there's a there's a there's a finite space between, you know, helping somebody, helping somebody, but when they hit that line and they click, like it's like that if you, they put a pill in your head and the, if somebody had a button and said, mm, right when they hit that line, I'm gonna press the bang. <laughs> You're out. It's over. Right. It's over with. No Can't coming come back. back. No coming back. So I, when you, I have a you question. Want to, you go ahead. Huh? What did you? What are your views on? Can you remember when Monique went through her situation and how they're reconciling that now? Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. What's your views on that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Monique, I love. My, I love. I Monique. love my, my Monique. They did her dirty. Mm-hmm. And she was dope through I it, love, too. I love Monique. But, I'm and, a big and, Monique fan. And, and you know what? And she never said... All I'm going to say is Monique never lied. She never lied. She never lied. So so those prices, those things that she was talking about, she the neglect, lied. it was there. She never lied. That's all I can say. But I love the mm -hmm. way how they're coming back and trying to embrace her. Well, guess what? Trying to embrace people that never gave a fuck about you in the first place. <laughs> she didn't give a fuck. Sorry. Cause that's what I told him. I Monique said Monique didn't care. Monique I, was yeah. like, "Y'all some raggedy, straight people. up, straight up, y'all raggedy. This is raggedy, and that's and and people, you know, black people, man, guys, you know, <laughs> I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna walk on stage and smack Chris Rock in his face, ever. You know what I'm saying? I think that was flagrant, but I was so happy when Will did it. Explain, cause Chris, explain. Go ahead. Cause Chris is a dirty dog. I did death at a funeral, and not Chris. Yeah, come see Chris, and you ain't gonna do come. What you gonna do? Come slap me? <laughs> <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Let's stop it! So what? Let's what? Knock it off! What? what, what? I, I gotta get Let's in there. Knock off the malarkey! Yeah. We're not I'm going through it too much, but <laughs> what made you? You ain't doing shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what made it? Well, we seen. You know, we seen. So, but 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 it's just not. Okay, the way in the platform in the which way it went down. Right. But he was had it. Will, that's the click out. You're talking about that. <laughs> the click out. Nigga, it's like the nigga said, hey, the thing clicked out at the Oscars. Yeah. But Keep he, my motherfucking yeah. name yeah. on my face. Yeah. I'll show you motherfucking mouth. Will Smith. Again. Not the men in black. Yeah. yeah. Not the guy that don't. Mm -hmm. Not Fresh Prince. Not West, not fresh not West, 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 it was the follow through for me. He said, bow. bow. And he then came all the way through. He came and through. walked through. He didn't even miss a and step. And he smirked when he was leaving. Like, I did that. Like, I mm. did. And then, then, but you know, it gets down to the deeper. Chris. He, he, Jada been raggedy. And you've been raggedy. So I put boss talk versus red t table talk. <laughs> Let's go boss hey, talk versus red table talk. Versus red table talk. How you gonna have your husband on your own show? Nah. And this like, so And he over here later. Man, that's my hero, man. You have my hero looking whack. Yeah, he that uh, broke my heart, bro. It was bad the way they the laid August, it. Like go all smack out, August, bro. He was you know Go smack he August. He's not bro. gonna do that. Nah, cause he gave her to August. He gave her like yeah, he, he gave her to August. So sorry. So, so giving up the ghost. So was Chris. So, was, so Chris shouldn't have said it, or he should have said it. The joke that he put out there—that was raggedy. That. Chris, Chris is raggedy. Chris Should've Rock, you raggedy. You know you raggedy. I don't got to work with you. You ain't paying my bills. I don't get no residuals from you other than death at a funeral. Thank you. Wow. So how is residuals? Because Faze on Love just talked about residuals on here, and he says that the new. Let me say this: the new, mm -hmm. the new improved guys like the the country Wayne and who else? It's a bunch of them. It ain't just country Wayne, Chi Nas, mm -hmm. and all these different influencers online. There's a bunch because of they're them. They're making money. They're off acting. Of YouTube, they're doing Instagram, skits. They're doing things. That. That's not residuals. No, they're not making. They're not residuals, making residuals. But That's why he was saying came that. Up, how he came up, we were like, well, um, country Wayne is a millionaire. He has a lot, and he made that he got, from he made, he got a, social media. He started at social media. He didn't media. do the movies and all of that to gain residuals and like stuff you. like that. And he was like, how is he a, a millionaire? millionaire? And I was like, well, he if you Google it, 
but he made really good money off of it. He's like, well, if you go, oh, Google is not, he's not on Forbes. He's not on any of those yeah. stuff. And he don't get residuals. He doesn't get residuals. I've been doing movies for my, da, 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 and you know, I get residuals. That, so he's like sort of downplayed mm -hmm. that. But um, is there residuals in what he's no, doing? No, there isn't. There's no well, royalties or well, nothing. No. It, there is. You get your check and that's it. No, no, because if somebody go and look at the stuff that you put up, you You're still getting, get paid. You still get paid for that. Stuff. That's no, not residual. What? No, it's not residual, but you still getting paid off of views. So you're still making money off of views even after you've it's not made residual. this. Residual is. But residuals, money for your kids. But residuals after years. But does residuals start to disintegrate? Right after down after years. I mean, it depends on what project you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, stop. Has, okay, has example. Fresh Prince stop of the Yard. Stop yes. the Yard. So, Stop the Yard from back then, whenever you did it, till now, has the money that's been coming in, hasn't it been going down? It's been going down, but it's been consistent. Okay. So, like, like uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm -hmm. It's on, on Nick, Nick at Night every day. Like, mm -hmm. you know, old shows. I Love Lucy. Mm hmm. You know, whoever has the I Love Lucy estate, you know, Lucille Ball, Ricky Ricardo uh, yeah, estate, okay. oh, they you know, they're getting, they getting, they getting paid mm -hmm. right now, today. You know, mm -hmm. every single person that was on Family Matters or, you know, all Friends. these shows. You know, Darius McQuarrie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Think about Darius. Darius chilling like a motherfucker. Darius chilling. Mm -hmm. Can Andy I hear Griffin. somebody say sometimes? Andy Griffin family be getting hey, paid. Hey, Eddie, Eddie from KC too. Yeah. Oh, 816, on mamas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 816, Eddie Griffin chilling. Because, you know, because that's, that's generational wealth. But here's the deal. They get funny in there. So that's what we're, that's back to the time is down. <laughs> I want to, I want to show our hands. You know, I'm going to go to all these people. I want to say, who wants to work? I want to make the first crypto movie. The first, you know, where everybody, the DPs, the, the art department, the sound, the cameraman, the, the crafty, you know, craft services, the transpos, you know, Teamsters, right? Moving yeah. the truck. Mm -hmm. You know, who wants to work for crypto? Yeah, they raise their hands. They're like, man, we want to do it. Boom. Now you got this network of people that's saying, we want to move. Now we out the way. Now we not getting controlled by nothing else. Healthcare. Right? Healthcare. Gas is ridiculous. Gas. Gas. In LA, it's $7 a gallon. Oh, it's right going now. up every day. Mm -hmm. It's $7 a gallon in Los Angeles. You need to move. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, 359. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I was like, thank, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And we so, think it's high. Yeah, no, and we it's, think and it's 359. Now we was comfortable with 359. They, they mm. went reckless with seven. <laughs> <laughs> they went reckless crazy with seven. Crazy reckless, man. man. They went crazy. So, you know, all of that, you know, what I'm trying to do, not trying, what I am doing, right. what I will do. Exactly. Uh, is use NFTs and use this market to, to grow, uh, to change. Where we, you know, cancel culture, man, that's out. It's out, it's out. Cancel culture, and we shouldn't be canceling each other. That's anyway. Mm -hmm. That's out anyway, right? Like we gotta make we, people make mistakes, man. If some of you, if, if I knew some of the stuff you done been through, bro, and it was on public, bro, we didn't. They, they just canceled you for sure. You know what I mean? They just canceled you. But thank God, God, that's didn't it. Didn't cancel me. God mm -hmm. never. Canceled. God ain't canceling you. He never exactly. canceled. God ain't canceling y'all. Exactly. So stay focused. Stay focused. And let's get it right. Let exactly. me talk about your. Uh, we're gonna go into your music a little bit, man. Mm -hmm. Tell me about. Cause you got a tattoo, so you know that. I you gotta just know love. about the music. Like, is it, it? What what drives you to the music? When did it become such a? Was it first or was it acting first? First. Really? How old first. were you when first, you started? First, I came out as soon as I came out through the Jamie Foxx Jr. As soon as I came out the womb. <laughs> That's what Jamie Foxx was. was like, I but, didn't know. I didn't but have the no. acting was it, No, yeah, were you, was your mom into music? <laughs> yes, she's one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life. Top really? five best singers I've ever heard. My wow. mom's incredible. Soprano can sing five octaves. Uh-uh. She's crazy with it. What my mom you, crazy. So that's where you got it from? Uh, her, but I... I <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's not time. <laughs> hey, We're not ready. Hey, We're not ready. Yet. Yet. Hey, Poker. Hey, Poker. Uh, hey, have your questions ready because I'm going to ask you. You get to ask a question here in a minute. But, yeah, um, no. 
Because you can sing very well. I Thank you. Sing. Thank Singing you. Singing um, well, um, thing. Would you sing something for me? I would. Let's I go. He, he's a <laughs> cappella. Uh, or he get a beat. Oh. You, you want to give me a beat? Give me a beat. Let me freestyle. Yeah. Because oh, oh, let me show you how it works. I can I can make a record right now. I don't I don't write, bro. I never pull out a pen. What the hell? Mm -mm. Boy, I didn't expect this tonight. I I'll go right now. I'll freestyle, bro. What does Sway do? He bring all the niggas in. They all writing that shit before they get there. That's right. I didn't write nothing. I didn't even know he was gonna do this. Let's go. What kind of beat you want, man? Let's make go. a play anything. I dare you. Hey, yeah, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We at that boss town. I got that boss town. Got that lemon for life with you, Papa. The boss talk, the right talk. Everything you got in going yellow. You jealous, but you talking all that shit. Why you be talking all that spit, but you ain't got a grand level boo. I got that shit that you gon' want, but you don't want it. If you want to front, you gotta let it go, yeah. Scumba, get back, get that, bit that, shunta, hit that, get low. You got it like it was involved. It's a lot of let it go. You know we got to that. Orca, united, society. We orca, united, society, then don't be mad at me. I'ma tell you real, I'ma get the deal. I'm coming in for real, coming in to steal. From the devil like it when there's under it, like what they really wanna say to me. I'ma stop playing, nigga, why really you wanna wanna play with me? Look, I see all the pictures in the building. Nigga, I'm trying to build up. Nigga, what you do? Nigga, wanna feel it up. The jerk is a lotion, it's not gonna fall, it's gonna do it, it's not. I'm telling you, I'm coming to I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming through boss talk. Hey! One on one! Hey, man, yeah. Check it, man. Oh, wow. Check it, man. My boy, man, Columbus Charlie, having a good time tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down, man. Hey, man. That's how we do it, man. You did it. Thing. Man, you know, just a, just a dope spirit, bro. Ever since you've been, like, yes. ever since we've been, you know, like following you, like I said, we've been following you a long time. Even that it, that movie was popular as hell that night mm. at Palladium Ballroom. When he said that movie popular as hell. That, <laughs> hey, that was a popular movie. That I say, that's that boy that was in that movie right there. Yeah, that's that guy, man. It That's good, for bro. Show, for sure, for sure, man. Right, man. I love y'all. Hey, listen, man. I love y'all. I love you on, guys. Man. I've been following you guys for a long time. You know, you give me hope, you know, for me man. and my wife. You know what um, I mean? You guys are a beautiful couple. Bro. You guys have been holding it down. You. You've been holding it down it's for our community. It's been almost 20 years. No, 20, man. Don't We've think. Just You know what I'm saying? I stay for a long time, man. I just, I was very... I don't. I didn't trust people, man. I don't yeah. trust. You know, I had like trust issues, so I was blocking myself from like real people that was real, man. You know, and and uh, I'm just grateful for you guys, man. Appreciate thank you, you. Thank and you. and we. Appreciate you. I, I heard. I seen stories where you went through a lot with women and all yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And for you to still be here, man, it's for somebody else too. It wasn't for you either. It's for you to help somebody like you helped us tonight by giving mm -hmm. us information, going through relationship stuff. It's also for you to help somebody who's going to go through those situations. Yeah, yes, I tell people all the time, I said, anything you go through in life, don't always think that that's the end of the road. You go through it to help, just exactly what he said. So many yeah. people come on here and say, if I didn't go through this, I wouldn't be where I am. Just like you talk about Stomp the Yard. If you didn't go through all of the things you went through before, you wouldn't be prepared for that role. Not at all. So it, it go, mm -hmm. same thing goes for relationships. Where we're at in our relationships, we're like, how can I ask the, you guys something? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. How have you guys stayed married this long? God. It's God. Okay. God. That's, that's the easy. No, that's no, a, no, no, don't give me the easy I'm answer, honestly. man. That's not it's, fair. It's, it's, that's not. That's <laughs> cheek. Don't man, give me the easy. Listen. God. Okay. <laughs> it, it was All right. It was. A, it was a for real things like okay. when he getting on your nerves. When you getting on his nerve. It's, how y'all making it through? We, it's praying, man. I teach and I, I feeding the homeless and doing crazy stuff. What together. does that have to do with this woman's personal? Okay. It's, it's, we it's, work together well. Like the work, the chemistry of doing things together, building projects together, being able to, for me, just being able to know that how good she been to my kids, bro, and the way she treat everybody that, that I love, that does something for me. So, 
when I go to work and come home, I'm happy about being able to be with this woman. And she's beautiful, and I pray for her, so I, I ain't going nowhere. And even when we have problems, it ain't really that much. It's not that big of a problem. It, look, you can look at things on a scale of one to three, and it looks bad. You have to change that to one to ten, bro. And then look at that three, and it don't look that bad no more. It's all about perception. You said it earlier. Everything is perception. You know what I'm saying? It's the way you perceive things. You can... You, a man pretty much has the ball in this court. If something messes up to me, it's the man's fault. That's, That's all. I, I say that all the time. He says, yeah, I he say says that all the, all the time. Because, I, because I, I coach football, right? I'm mm -hmm. a football coach. Yeah. And I'm like, I co coach quarterbacks name mainly. Yeah. And so I always say, I don't care. You you throw the perfect pass. Hit your boy. Boom. He missed. Pops off his chest. Pick your six. Fault. It's your fault. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. You got to pick. That's it. Same thing with relationships. Yeah. yeah. But at the same yeah. time, it's communication. And one thing I've learned about communication, sometimes men and women think totally different. Totally different. Totally different. So, and for I mean, us, <laughs> we, we want you to understand what we're, where, where, where we're coming from. But we have to realize that sometimes, no matter how much we try to explain it, you're not going to get it. And vice versa. So a lot of times you have to learn how to work around your differences. Yeah. Learn that because you want your mate to be your best friend. You want to be able to come to that person all the time. You want because that's the person that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. When your kids are gone, it's just going to be you and that person. So you can't let anything and anyone come in between that. You know mm. what I mean? And what I've learned yeah. too is just to try to make even when it become a tense situation where you the person get on top of your nerve. As long as it's not an argument yet. But a person get on top of your nerve, turn it into a joke. Yeah. Laughter, laughter, you do that cures, well, man. I don't. laughter cures a lot. You know, because if you make the other person laugh, it becomes that tense I situation. Laugh all day long. Right. That, That's the dope That tense situation you. is no I longer laugh, tense. I love to laugh, man. I like, it's ridiculous. Like some of the stuff, if people overheard some of the stuff that happens in our day, I just, we, it's ridiculous. Like, you hear the giggles in the back. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. ridiculous. But, I, but how, how long have you been married? So uh, with I met my wife 13 years ago. Okay. And we met on, uh, I was married at the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I was separated with my, that wife. Okay. Tani. She was on tour, with Beyonce. And I was, I'm like, I got nominated for uh, Cadillac Records. Mm hmm And I won. Right? And I'm thinking, I had, you know, like when you, I don't give who, I don't care what actor, what anybody, like what artist says they don't have not practiced their speech. If you ain't practiced your speech, <laughs> you're never going to win an award. Really? You got to practice that speech. If you ain't practiced your speech, you ain't manifested. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. In everything so, you do. Boom. I had the speech. I had the everything. And I was by myself. I was by myself, man, at the thing, and I met, I had to go to the after party, and I met the girl on the red carpet. Wow. She was working PR for the event. Really? Yeah, and I was like, man, I met, and she was like. It was something oh, different about it. Was it was something different, man, and she was by herself, standing there, and I had to leave, so I got in the car. I got in the car, my, my got my driver, boom, got in the car, pulled off. I said, man, pull back up, man. Turn back around, man, for me, please. Pull back up for me, man. I said, "Hey, I, I, I didn't. I was. I don't have no game, bro. My my stuff is. I have no game, bro. <laughs> it's terrible, bro. What so did I, you I, say? I just walked past her like, oh, gotta go. She's like, what are you doing back here? I was like, gotta go to the bathroom. You was nervous. Horrible, but, man. I don't have no game, bro. I'm like just me, man. I'm like socially awkward, bro. Yeah, but you didn't have to go to the bathroom. You made it up. But yeah, I made it up. And then I came <laughs> back. And then I came back when I was on my way out. I had to be like, look, I didn't really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I love it. You just had to tell her the truth. Hey, I had to tell her the truth. I say like, I didn't have to go to the but really. I, I bet you she back. was flattered. She was. She called me the next day. Now we have two kids. So you know what I mean. They so really yeah, you know like I mean. Yeah, Are you gonna I mean. try for third? Because you have two boys, right? Two boys. You need a girl. Uh, I need. I got a lot of girls. <laughs> Hey. hey, sorry, that was. You know, girls are daddy's girls. No, but no, but I have a lot of queens <laughs> there you around go. me. I'm surrounded by queens, mm -hmm. surrounded by amazingly talented women, uh, and you know the important thing about our community is that your boys uh, are handsome. By the uh, way, oh my boys, they're man, beautiful. His name is the first one is Denzel, Ooh. Mm. and I named him Denzel on purpose. 
Because Denzel always was a little niggling. He was a little nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a little nigger. <laughs> he, he would say that? Yeah, he called me a little nigger. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I said, once I had the oh. son, I said, he's my mentor. I mean, he's mm -hmm. not. He's my mentor that never mentored me. Mm. Just just was like, nah, I ain't just, He's like, I'm not giving it oh, up. Oh, we talking about the little one. Yeah, yeah, he said, went past he, that. Yeah, he mm. said, I ain't giving it up. I'm this sorry. Day. I had to and do I that. And I said, you know what? I, what are we naming him? I said, Denzel. Denzel. They said, why? Because now he's my little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Solid. I like that. So what's uh, the other one name? Liam. Like Liam. Liam Neeson. Take it, nigga. We taking it back. I love Liam. <laughs> I like that actor. Liam, I love that actor. and he hard, he harder, he harder than anything you can see, man. These my boys are amazing. My family's amazing. You know, my community is amazing. Um, you know, my company, my you know, everyone around me. I'm, I'm finally surrounded by amazingly beautiful people with that are brilliant. Um, whether they have a penis or a vagina, mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone's executing. It takes 11 people to execute a play. And everybody's working together. Field, right? On a football field, when you run a play, you can call Jet Sweep 9967090XO mm. Ice, right? Everybody knows their job. The tackles are pulling, the guards are boom, pop, boom, bing, fullback, boom, kicking out, blocking the DM, boom. Everybody running their routes, everybody doing their okay. job, boom, boom, boom. Yes, Quarterback sir. knows it's a three, five, seven step drop, whatever it is. Everybody has to execute like a symphony for the play to work. Mm -hmm. So finally, and we're in a we're in a season where the quarterback, like Russell Wilson, he's the only quarterback. He's my favorite. It takes a, he takes a knee in the huddle. What a humble thing to do mm -hmm. as the leader of the team. Not standing over the team, you know, we're running this play. He takes a knee like, boys, let's go. We going, we gonna get this. Boom, we running, boom, unique style, unique hustle. Boom, black, six, sag, seven, eight, no, boom, star, 77, on one. Boom, black, ready, break. Mm -hmm. And get they up and go it. run the they play. love it. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Humble. That's how you move as a leader. That's leaders, true. leaders, as God elevates you, your ego should be diminished. Exactly. Man. John the Baptist. Because mm -hmm. I saw where you said one of the the roles you always wanted to play, and you got it, was playing MLK. Yes, ma'am. How did you feel when you got that role? Oh, man, I had an, almost a nervous breakdown because it was <laughs> so much pressure. Not from Erica. Erica Malone, I love you. She is amazing. I mean, it was a big... <sighs> Man, to play MLK, man, like that, you can't, you can't, you can't come in fluff button with that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like you, you can't, you can't play with that. You how know how deep did they go into the? Uh, it was it's not, it's out not yet. about. It's not about Martin Luther King. Cool. Right. It's about Lettucey. It's about. And, I mean, it's about Mahalia. Mahalia. So Jackson. and let it, and and what and and what I was doing in that movie was supporting Lettucey, like. Mahalia supported Martin, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like nobody knew how Mahalia supported Martin. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, they were best friends. They was like this, you know what I'm saying? But that's went unsung. They was, no. Mm -hmm. When is that movie coming out? Uh, so we are premiering at the Pan-African Film Festival April 19th. Okay. I'm excited about it. Should be. Let Us See is fantastic. And I, I can't and, and, and my job was not to play Martin Luther King, man. It was it was to it was to get my girl Your across the line. Get her across the line. Cause she's a phenomenal Show actress. That support. Yeah. And she won her Grammy this year. I'm so proud of you, sis. Love you, lad. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I mean that's the job. Mm hmm You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I wanna see her. She's gonna be a she's gonna be great. I loved all of the pictures you posted on it. Wow. But it's not about me, it's about her. I know. And, yeah. and, I, and, 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 and it's interesting because people didn't know the relationship that Martin had no. yeah. with Mahalia and what Mahalia, how he, like, you know, Coretta he was his wife, and we know Martin mm -hmm. had his questionable things, but not him and Mahalia. They were best friends. And, you know, the middle of the night phone calls, you know what I mean? Like, get me, you know, pray for me or sing for me or whatever. You know, that's the stuff that we really kind of explore in it. And it's, did it's you know Lettucey before this show? No, I did not. Wow, so you had to build that relationship on set. 
and we built it. And now she's my family. I love Lettuce. That's dope. And we building it now, and he's our family, and you're going to let me shut it down? He said shut it's how we stay. There you go. We got to shut it down. I did want to get his top three artists of all time. Top three? Yeah, mm-hmm. top three, dead or alive. Yep. Any, Any genre. Michael, Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder. Oh, he did that so quick. <laughs> top three actors at all time. <laughs> Denzel Washington, Daniel Day Lewis, and now Jared Leto. That nigga short, boy. You just have them back to back. Columbus Everybody short. always have Columbus a hard short. time just in number did, three. He broke records just... in there today. He broke records wow. quickly. Know, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk, man. What a boss's talk. Love y'all. Yes, sir.